Hi, I'm Bart Herbison, Executive Director of the Nashville Songwriters Association. And this week for the Tennessean, the story behind the song, Carrying Your Love With Me for George Strait. Welcome, Steve Bogart. Thank you, Bart. So, you get back-to-back straight cuts, almost. <laughs> but let's talk about the first one. You and Jeff Stevens, you're kind of like Lennon and McCartney. You've been partners. You've written so many songs together. That day, did you know? And did you think about Straight when you wrote it? Because there's never been a more prototypical George Strait song. On Carrying Your Love, yes. Uh, you wrote it for Straight. We knew, it, we brought, uh, Michael Knox ran over and got Larry Will Willoughby, who was the A&R guy at MCA at the time, and brought him into my little writing room office. And I was playing my uh, little my little Fender bass with uh, Jeff singing, singing harmony. And we played it for him live. And Willoughby said, put that on hold for George don't let anybody hear it. Bring me the demo. Wow. But I'm going to go back. When you were writing it, you were thinking about George. And no. the reason I ask, okay, because that never happened. No. No, we didn't do that with, with either of the of the, the carried George Strait hits. Well, tell me about that day, the idea, the little signature guitar lick. I mean, let's, it's the story behind how the song was written. Well, the, the carrying your love with me was an idea. Jeff and I wrote like every... Um, once a week for probably, at that point, maybe 10 years. We're still working together some. And uh, he just handed me a little piece of paper one day. Carried away. We'd already written Carried Away. Okay, that came first. That came first. And he just handed me a piece of paper and said, this is a great title. I know we'll know how to write it, but I want you to hang on to it and think about it and, and, and figure out, you know, what's the right way to go with it. So it was probably six months later and uh, I was just kind of sitting by the pool having a sip of something or, an, or other and, uh, and just started with that little metaphor about the beat up leather bag and, and a little snippet of melody and, and then it was his title, Karen, You Love With Me. We wrote it the next day and not very long, a few hours. Well, I'm gonna act, I'm gonna say something trite, but that song had me a hello. When I heard that one, <laughs> the, the opening of it, it got me, man. That's awesome. And it's one of those, George, there have been a lot of specials lately with his 7,000 number ones and all that, yeah. but what did his son say about that song? Because that touched me. Well, he did say that it... Because his son didn't love everything he did. No, but he but he very much was, was into Carrying Your Love With Me, and he said that it was by far his dad's favorite video. And mm -hmm. Of all time, those two songs are... Uh, Carrying Your Love is number five for George of all time. It, it spent four weeks at number one and then carried away is number nine so having two in the in georgia's top 10 is is uh, i'm real proud of that <laughs> now take me back because they were so close together were they on the same record no they actually carried away was the uh, was the first one and it was the second single off uh blue clear sky and it was nominated for uh, song of the year in the acms and we really weren't thinking of george for that as a matter of fact he got it by maybe 10 minutes ahead of ronnie dunn ronnie dunn had it on hold but like 10 minutes before uh, George got it, and we just said, well, let's, yeah, let's, let's go with the first person. i got to give straight props because everybody, management, labels, publishers, artists, they overthink things. you got two songs by the same two guys with a different verb tense of the same word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about the lick in Carrying Your Love With Me? Um. I believe the lick, we had a, a version of, we had the changes, the, the, the idea, and, and I believe Jeff King took what our kind of workman-like lick and turned it into a, a lot better lick. Carried Away was, was Jeff's lick, and Carried Away we wrote the second verse in the studio while Jeff stood at the mic. We were demoing it, and we just said, wow, that verse sucks. We need to write a new one, so we took 10 minutes and Wrote the second verse well, at the well, mic. <laughs> she's off camera, but the producer for these segments on NSAI's side is Lindsay Gum, and she wears the West Virginia colors to work every week. Um, why those two states? And, and another thing on that same question, part two, a lot of songwriters won't put something about Music Row or Nashville or even Tennessee in a song. So why those two? Just because they sang well, or is, was there science behind it? Or? I'm carrying in love with me. West Virginia, down Tennessee. It just, first of all, Jeff is from West Virginia. His funny thing is, he really felt like it was a little close to home for him. So 
He said, but Bogart, let's do like California, anything. Just let's not do West Virginia. I said, no, man, we don't usually fight, and I don't usually stick to my guns, but I'm sticking to my guns on this. Nothing's going to sing as good as West Virginia. And I like that little personal thing that, that, that you're in it and stuff. And uh, so we ended up doing it that way. And when we had our little number one lunch with, with Tony Brown, we showed up and we sat down, and he, he sits up. He says, guys, you know what my favorite line in the song is? <laughs> and you know the answer. He goes, West Virginia down to Tennessee. I well, love it. due respect, I'm not the third <laughs> co-writer. California would make no sense just socially, and it's not down to Well, he was, we were just looking for something that wasn't so autobiographical. So, well, we're going to get back to that in a minute, but there's, uh, this will be in the online version. You had a big Rascal Flats hit, and there's an incredible story behind Praying for Daylight. It was an interesting story, both the the idea and the pitch. I wrote that with Rick Giles, and uh, we had been writing for probably 15, 20 years at that point, once a week. And uh, we had what we called bull blank hour every morning. And, and my wife had, had, had got up that morning. I said, how'd you sleep, honey? And she said, oh, I was praying for the light of day. And so I told Rick that, and uh, and we just sort of kind of moved into that. We we came up with the song and, and it knew it was pretty cool and Rick's pretty uh, he's pretty much a background singer guy mm -hmm. he had a doo-wop thing when he lived in DC and stuff and uh, so we got the demo all all set up and I took it over to Mark Bright for Blackhawk because Henry Paul and I go way back and we'd already had a hit there you have it with Blackhawk that kind of they were soaring and they were came down and there you have it work I said this will do the same thing but there you have it, didn't he put it on hold for an entire year and we didn't hear a word. And he called me one day and said, uh, Bogey, you gotta, you gotta hear something. I said, okay. Walked across the street, listened on his big producer speakers. And, uh, he played me their version of it. He said, but I got to apologize before you hear it. They don't have a name. They don't have a record deal, but this is just what we, what we've done with them so far. And I tried to act mad, and I said, I just got one condition. Let me pitch you more songs, whoever they are. <laughs> a week later, they had a record deal, yeah. and that was the song that got them the yeah, deal. I know, and the rest is history. It was their first single. So, um, Carrying Your Love With Me, um, and by the way, before we get off that, did uh, Beverly's your wife, did what was her present for that idea? <laughs> <laughs> I think she got a, a, like, I think we did a little uh, long weekend in New York City. <laughs> so, the story behind the song this week, Carrying Your Love With Me, we're going to hear a verse and a chorus. Mr. Steve Bogart for the Tennessee. Baby, all I got is this beat up leather bag. Everything I own don't fill up half. But don't you worry about the way I pack. All I care about is getting back real soon. Goodbye kiss is all I need from you Cause I'm carrying your love with me West Virginia down to Tennessee I'll be moving with a good Lord's speed Carrying your love